Hello everyone, welcome back to Kraken Packs. JB here again. Today we're going to be looking at 2022-23 Parkhurst Champions. So this is a set that actually came out a couple weeks ago and I'm only getting around to now. I actually bought this box the day the set was released and I just haven't been motivated to open it. Um, so here I am, a little late. Sorry about that. Uh, thing is, I just, I'm having trouble getting excited about this set. So, uh, this was a new one to the roster this year. Obviously just trying to get more sets available for 23-24 to kind of milk that Connor Bedard money. Um, but what's inside here is, you know, vintage style Parker's cards, uh, of modern players, 22-23 players, which maybe for some is interesting for me. I'm not sure I care too much about that. But I will say there is one thing that is drawing me, that made me finally want to open up this box. Uh, there are actually some Wayne Gretzky autos in this product, so uh, that would be super cool. I don't have any of those in my collection. I'd love to find one. And so here I am with finally a reason to open this box. Aside from that, not too much uh, to tell you about this product. It's tough with... Uh, a brand new product like this that I don't have a lot of experience with because it's hard to guess uh, what sorts of inserts are going to be uh, popular out of here. Uh, and I, just from my own personal opinion, having looked at them, there weren't really any that caught my eye. So there's nothing that I'm, aside from like a, like I said, a Gretzky auto or something, some other legend like that. There's no insert type in particular that I'm looking forward to. But maybe you are. Let me know if you are. I'd love to know what other people like. There is the one uh, kind of mini-sized card insert in here. We'll see. I don't know if we'll see. I don't know if they're guaranteed per box. Um, but it's you know back to the '50s style, tiny little uh, cigarette box-sized cards. So some people will like that. I'm sure. 20 packs to go through, 8 cards per pack. And let's see if this is a set you're going to want to chase in 23-24 once that's released. Let's see if there's anything Connor Bedard in here you care about. Obviously there won't be in 22-23, but if any of these inserts are interesting to you. So here's just what a base rookie card looks like. Here's Mad Sogard of the Ottawa Senators. A good one to start on, but... Uh, the texture is really cool, actually, I will say, these cards. And uh, my first impression here, actually, is that these cards are a lot nicer than I thought, looking at them online. Um, just the print quality is very sharp, and the quality of the cardstock I like as well. So there's a veteran Darcy Kemper. Here's our first parallel. It's a Connor McDavid, silver. It says silver right up there in the top uh, right corner. Here's a legend Peter Bondra. So yeah, a bunch of legends in here. Obviously, if you get uh, autographs of any of them, those would be cool hits. Uh, these are just standard base veterans, though. So that's pack number one. One legend, one rookie, and then one veteran parallel we'll see how that compares to other packs we got oh something shiny there here's a morgan riley and a josh morrissey to start off the pack so first insert parallel is a silver chandler stevenson but behind that we have a shiny Let's see, it's probably called like a rainbow or a silver rainbow, I'm assuming. Yeah, rainbow, Alex Kalorn. And then just base veterans for the rest of the pack. Quinton Byfield. Looks like another rainbow here right away. Tanner Janot. A silver 
Jasper Brat. So at this point, I'm guessing there's one silver per pack. And there's a rainbow David Jiracek rookie. Four more vets. So it does guarantee one autograph or memorabilia hit per box. So we obviously haven't hit that yet. Kucherov. You know what? I, I'm taking back my feelings about this set. I really like the looks of these cards. Um, this might be one I might want to go after, to be honest. Here's our silver for this pack is Quinn Hughes. And then here's a die cut. So Jukebox Heroes, Sidney Crosby. We're getting... Hey guys, JB here. We had a little issue with the recording software here and I didn't notice for about four minutes. Uh, the only thing I opened interesting during that time period is the Slapkovsky base rookie that you'll see when we get back to the coverage here. So uh, sorry about that and enjoy the rest of the video. Phil Kessel Silver. We got a Kale McCarr rainbow. And then Markstrom, Gerard, Pasternak, and Sonny Milano. Adam Raska. First silver rookie is Valtteri Pustinen. And what do we have here? A Timo Meyer. Uh, don't oh wire image. So if you like shiny cards, this reminds me actually of a Tim Hortons insert. If I'm being honest, it's got a little blurb about what happened in this moment. And then four more vets. Trey Fix Wolanski rookie. Leon Dreisidel vet Brock Besser silver. And here's another color variant. It's Sonny Milano this time. So uh, Patrick Kane still in a Blackhawks jersey. All right, still have not hit our autograph or memorabilia. Here's a Jordan Harris rookie, a silver Cam Atkinson, and now this rainbow seems to have the gold background there, so it is a gold rainbow. It's Connor Garland. And then we have our vets at the back. Caden Korjak rookie. So it looks like we just happen to have an unlucky spell uh, at the beginning there with all those packs without a rookie. They seem a lot more common lately. There's a Johnny Goudreau. Philip Forsberg, silver. And here's our second mini. This one is Samuel Fajimo. Very cool. Andre Kopitar. And some vets at the back. Charlie McAvoy, Moritz Sider. We got a silver Casey Middlestat. And a rookie Kent Johnson. It's only a single insert in this pack. Riley Walsh, rookie. A silver Jonathan Huberto. 
Bet Flames fans still wish he was wearing that Florida Panthers jersey. Here's a rainbow Riley Walsh rookie. And then John Tavares, Thomas Shabbat, Neil Pionk, and Paul Statsny. Down to just six packs to go. Still waiting on our one autograph or memorabilia. Oh, we got something that looks like another die cut, probably. Here's a Mark Kastelik rookie. And a silver Connor Garland to go with our gold rainbow Car Connor Garland. What do we have here? Tomorrow's Riches, Alex Newhook. Uh, you know. Still another die cut. I don't know. I guess it's kind of neat. There's a Valtteri Pustinen and a Carson Meyer. A silver Jacob Slavin. And another mini, Gabriel Landeskog. That's a cool one. That's the coolest of the three minis that I've found. I know that in his draft year, the Ottawa Senators were very interested in Gabriel Landeskog. I'm pretty sure that's the year we ended up with Mika Zibanejad, I want to say, instead. Because Colorado took Landis Gog before it was our turn. Braden Schneider, rookie. Quinn Hughes. There's a silver Mark Kastelik, rookie. And a color, what did we say this was called? Color variant. Eric Galgren. Oh, it's a rookie this time. That's our first rookie color variant. Some vets. And just three packs to go. Still no autograph or memorabilia. Are we getting bamboozled? Maybe. Wouldn't be the first time. Got some vets to start off this pack. We got a Matt Duchesne silver and another one of these wire, what did it say? Wire image. This one's Sean Dersey. First NHL playoff game where he opened the scoring. Good for him. Uh, Mike Smith, Jonathan Marcheseau, Matt Dumba, and Tage. Thomas. Whoops. Tage Thompson. Uh, I just want to take another quick peek at these because I made fun of them for being like Tim Hortons, but actually that's a really cool surface. Uh, so I take it back. Not like Tim Hortons. Where's my packs? Two packs to go. Hopefully we got an auto in here. Chris Kreider, veteran. Noah Cates, rookie. We got a Braden Schneider, silver rookie. This looks like maybe something that could be an autograph. So let's just put that down and get rid of all our vets at the back here. Drew Doughty. Uh, okay, it looked like it was going to be horizontal. 50s flashback. And it's an x-ray <laughs> of someone's, like a hole in someone's back of their pelvis or something what's going on here uh first time an x-ray machine demonstrates moving picture process i that has nothing to do with hockey um the phillips company discovered a way to link an image intensifier to a monitor yeah nothing to do with hockey Here's just a flashback to something that was happening in the 1950s. Okay. Okay. That cannot possibly count as a memorabilia hit, right? Memorabilia has to mean, like, something physical. 
So last pack, hopefully there's an auto in here. We got Steve Stamkos to start it off and Evgeny Malkin. Oh, I put my rookie Braden Schneider up with my vets because I was so caught off guard by that random x-ray. Here's a Brant Clark rookie, so that's a good one. Oh, and what is this? A Redemption. I didn't actually look at the Redemption list for this product, so I don't know who this could possibly be. Uh, but it, I mean, almost certainly is going to be an autograph then. So who are we hoping for? A rookie or a legendary veteran? I mean, I'm going with the legend. I want to see Wayne Gretzky here on this. I don't even know if he's a Redemption uh and you know, here we go maybe i don't know i didn't see it did you auto rookie okay elmer soderblom all right decent player uh you know questionable redemption but uh decent player so and we did end important more importantly we did end up with an auto so we'll put that one up here. That is a box of Parker's Champions. And, you know, like I said at the beginning, that was actually a lot more fun than I was anticipating. I should have opened that box two weeks ago when I got it. Um, didn't get the Wayne Gretzky auto I was looking for, but a lot of fun cards in there. And I, I even just, I like the look of the base, which for me is something that's important. I know a lot of people just think all base cards are trash, but, you know, if you like to collect sets... You don't want to collect a bunch of ugly sets. So uh, it says something about the product. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, if you like seeing new hockey card products opened before you decide whether or not to buy them yourself, then please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll be back pretty soon. I don't think, I don't know what the next, actually, you know what, SP Game Used, which you've already seen the video for that, uh, was the last product that I knew what the date was coming up. So uh, we'll see what's next, but I'll be back when it's out. And uh, sorry again about those technical difficulties. Uh, Got to figure out what's going on with the equipment here. Uh, and hopefully I can get that sorted out sooner rather than later. Until next time, thanks for watching.